Welcome back, Stasa23 here, back again with some knife therapy, and today I have for you the Concept Knives Model 6. Uh, this knife comes in at $218, and I think the only site I could find it on was White Mountain Knives, uh, being that it was just released here recently. I was fortunate enough to pick mine up at Blade Show 2021, and I uh, had to wait until the release date until I released my review. So I figured if I did my review, it might help some of y'all who may be on the fence about this knife. So let's get some specs out of the way. You have a total length of seven and a half inches, a blade length of 3.12 inches, a grip area from right here to about in the back butt side of the knife, a 3.7 inches. You have a handle scale thickness of 0.44 inches, so it's on that slim side. You have a closed width in the pocket from here to here of 1 inch, 1.4 inches. You have a blade stock thickness of 0.125 inches. And the behind the edge thickness on my particular knife ranges from 18 thousandths at the thinnest and 20 thousandths at the thickest, sharpened at 20 degrees per side. All right, before we go any further, let's do some cutting. All right, we're going to test uh, factory sharpness. Do a little cardboard cutting, very sharp. All right, it sliced uh, pretty well. Um, you could definitely feel that extra thickness in that blade stock whenever it hit right here. Um, it just doesn't glide through as, as smoothly, but it still sliced well. All right, we're gonna test the air goes and how well the edge is still biting. On this pine 2x4, we're going to start out lightly and then start putting some more pressure behind it. Alrighty, uh, I think it, it did a good job of slicing. Uh, it's got some thinner curls up here in the front and you can see I started putting more and more pressure. Um, being that it has the contoured scales, it was uh, fairly, it was a lot more comfortable than, you know, just a plain flat scale knife. But whenever I put the, the most force into the cuts like that, uh, the bottom part right here was starting to irritate my hand and um, depending on if you had in, if you could see in the video I kind of swapped the grip a little bit but this clip I guess my my fat of my finger was I mean palm was going into the here was starting to aggravate me a little bit but uh, just to eat quick adjustment and that fixed that let's check it out Got some seat belt material. Try to slice through it. Nice, nice and clean. Let's try one more time. Nice. All right, we're gonna try to cut up 20 cuts of this half inch twisted this out rope. Might do more, might do less. Alrighty, 
Wow, that was the easiest. It, let me back it a little bit. That was the easiest uh, this has been in a while. I was push cutting the majority of it, if you couldn't tell in the video. Let's see how that edge is holding up in the front over there. Still screaming sharp. All right, we're going to cut up some thick saddle leather. Uh, two different thicknesses tubing, got an inch and a quarter with some uh, mesh in it, very dense stuff, and you have a half inch right here, uh, some three quarter inch bungee cord, and some blue jean denim rolled up. All right, we'll get started on leather, doing some detail work with that front part. Wow. That was like butter. All right, this thing performed outstanding. Um, at least way better than uh, the several knives I tested before this. No. The edge isn't as keen as it was before, but that's to be expected. Might have a little hang up in the front. Let me sure no gunk on the blade. Hard to do this behind the camera. Let's see, and I got a fan going in here. Yeah, it's still good. Alrighty, I hope y'all enjoyed that cutting. I sure did. Um, they have several different, I mean, a few different variations of uh, this knife. You can get it in all blacked out. You can get it with a black blade, gray orange peel finish on the titanium, or you can get it with a fancy pants version with a black blade, Timascus show side scale, and a black uh, lock side, or this particular variation with the bead blasted scales and the stone wash blade. So let's take a closer look at that. It's a pretty fine, I don't even know if, it, if I could show you that, there it is pretty fine uh, tumble on there you have somewhat of like a slicer grind here where the grind tapers up right here uh, giving it making it you know a little thinner up here in the front a little thicker in the back for your more powerful cutting task uh, you have the concept logo here the the model number right there and on this side you have the name of the knife the model six you have the blade hole as one of your opening methods and a flipper tab for the second. You don't have any jimping there, but you do have a wide flat spine. Uh, I didn't feel like I was going to slip off at all. Uh, you do have a sharpening trowel right here that just clears the plunge line, but it clears it, so I'm fine with that. Uh, close it up. Very smooth action, riding on ceramic bearings and a ceramic detent. You can spidey flick it. You can flip it, and oh, you can thumb flick it. Uh, going to the hardware, you have a, just a standard uh, T8 pivot on both sides. And I will say this nice and tight uh, Torx head on that. There's not a lot of slop to it. And on the body screws, you have T6. You have an integrated titanium backspacer and a lanyard hole in, inside of it. You have a milled titanium pocket clip that follows the contour of the scales. And uh, it looks nice in my opinion. And it has good retention. Uh, your lockup is sitting at about 30%. And when I say this is bank vault lockup, you, got, you cannot muster any left side to side play on this. And absolutely no up and down whatsoever. Um, the lock access is 
pretty good. You have those cutouts on both sides that allow you to get your thumb in there comfortably and disengage that lock. Whoop. Uh, your scales are 3D contoured. Nice curvature on there. Uh, making the scales actually pretty thin at, you know, less than a half an inch thickness. Uh, your blade to handle ratio is pretty good. As you can see there, it's almost to the end right there. Uh, your centering is dead centered. And let's get some size comparisons out of the way real quick and then I'll tell y'all my nitpicks. Uh, two that I thought, you know, had that f same familiar looking blade shape. You have the Alliance Designs Jasmine and the Ace, Giant Mouse Ace Biblio. There you go. Both of those are smaller. Two more more common knives. You got the Spyderco PM2, which is a about a half inch longer and it's a lot closer in length to the Para 3 and as you can see the Para 3 has just about the same grip area as the Model 6. Alrighty, uh, let's, let's take a weight real quick. There is no internal milling on here but I will say it, it wasn't a problem to carry at all. Uh, it would have been nice to have the milling, but I'm okay with that. 123 grams and 4.34 ounces. So might be a deal breaker for some people, but I'm good with it. Uh, let's take a look at the knife in the pocket. Of course, right after I open the knife, let's see what it looks like. Goes in nicely. It holds nicely, uh, but you do have a good bit of the knife sticking out. Now the way the, the handle scales curve, it curves into the to the pocket and you have that minimal flipper tab so you can easily get your hand in there without, you know, bumping into anything. And you got something to grab a hold to with those two clip screws right there. Uh, the ergos, I thought the ergos were, were good, especially um, in all the cutting I did. The only time I noticed any issues, uh, I was using the hammer grip a good bit. I use the saber grip. I don't really do this grip, but it's not the most comfortable the way this comes out. But I will say this is comfortable as well, this pull grip. Um, it was nice cutting the cardboard, cutting you know rope, all that stuff. Whenever I was doing the wood, whenever I started putting that pressure into the cuts, being that this is a skinnier scale, right here, this started to bother me. It wasn't It's not sharp. They got a bevel on it, but it just, you know, that, that it's titanium. It started bothering me. And the fat of my hand was going into this hole, causing somewhat of a hot spot, but nothing crazy. I was able to just adjust my grip and fix it. Uh, nitpicks, complaints. First off, uh, the... The, the blade hole, that's the first thing. They pretty much polished that blade hole. And it might look nice, but whenever you go, if you want to do a slow roll like that, you have to be very deliberate and kind of push down into it so you don't slide off of it. Uh, I wish they wouldn't have done that. You know, at least, you know, you can knock the burrs off, but leave it somewhat sharp there to where you can get your thumb on it. Or at least on this side. This side, it doesn't, when you're doing the spidey flick on this side, it doesn't matter whatsoever. Um, especially being that, you know, you can get to that hole uh, very easily. And as you can see, as a lefty too, you could actuate that knife fairly easily. Uh, so that's the first one, the blade hole. Uh, second one, all right, you already have a minimal flipper tab, which I'm not the biggest fan of. It just, it's just somewhat difficult to uh, actuate this one is not super difficult to actuate especially they canted it back so it's not no there's no sharp point there but there's no jimping and sometimes uh i've slipped off of it you know not thinking about it i think a nice fine row of jimping would have done a lot for it. just put it three little fine jimps right there it'd been great 
Uh, also, the design is a little plain. I still like it, but, you know, it would have been excellent. They would have put, you know, a swedge kind of like this. This this right here, that swedge just completely transformed that knife, in my opinion. I uh, think that would have jazzed it up a little. And also, the fine bead blasting on these contoured scales are a little slick. Um especially if you mainly if you're a fidgeter if you're a fidgeter you definitely want to be careful that you don't sling the knife out of your hand but uh, if I were to buy this uh, knife again I would probably get the orange peel texture one just to have that extra uh, grip on it and uh, last but certainly not least just a very nitpick aesthetic thing I wish they would have put the lock bar cut out on the inside because it would have really cleaned this up and made it look nicely. Um, you know, the pocket clip thing, I don't love how much sticks out of the pocket, but I can deal with it. So overall, I, I like the knife. The knife performed excellent. Um, it was a good slicer. It wasn't, you know, mind-blowing, but it, it held an edge, you know, very well. And after all the cutting... It was, you know, struggling a little bit through the paper. wasn't cutting cleanly. I pass. I put five passes on both sides uh, with one micron diamond emulsion on my strop, and pretty much brought the edge back to, you know, pretty darn good. I don't know if it's shading sharp, but definitely a serviceable edge. And I'll be sharpening it anyway, so I wanted to see. There you go. So there you go. If if you if you like the knife, uh, you like the aesthetics, uh, I'd say go for it. If you find it plain, then you, you just will uh, pass on this one. <laughs> so if you have any questions, comments, concerns, please leave them down below. I hope everybody's having an absolute wonderful day. I will see y'all on the next one. Peace.